The electric eel is one of the aquatic creatures known for its unique traits and its ability to generate electricity. Generally, electric eels live in the freshwater regions of the Amazon and Orinoco, giving them a distinct natural habitat. Many people misunderstand electric eels as ordinary eels, but this is not true. Although they are commonly called eels, they are actually not part of the true eel family and are more closely related to catfish. One interesting feature of the electric eel is, of course, its ability to produce extremely high electrical currents. This ability serves as its defense mechanism and a way to protect itself. But the electrical discharge it produces is powerful enough to pose serious danger. According to popular mechanics, electric eels can generate up to 860 volts, a shock strong enough to paralyze fish, scare away predators, or simply defend themselves. This makes electric eels one of the strongest bioelectrical creatures on Earth. Many people assume that electric eels use electricity only to attack or defend themselves. But that is not the case. Electric eels often use their electrical pulses for effective navigation, allowing them to move safely. According to the National Aquarium, electric eels produce weak electrical impulses that allow them to sense their surroundings. This ability also helps them detect objects or nearby animals, even in extremely murky water. Electric eels are creatures that should not be underestimated, as they have impressive self-defense capabilities. They use their electrical power to incapacitate animals of various sizes, even very large ones. Electric eels also have a fascinating physical anatomy that sets them apart from other aquatic animals. One notable difference is their specialized respiratory system. According to Smithsonian's National Zoo, electric eels breathe air and must surface every 10 minutes to breathe. They have a special system that allows them to absorb oxygen from air through their mouth cavity making this adaptation essential for surviving in low-oxygen water environments.